everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for September 2017 I do want to apologize for not being able to upload a little bit sooner I've been extremely busy um, with a lot of spell casting a lot of uh, candle magic uh, rites, rituals for clients and private consultations so I do want to mention for those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations or private readings definitely look at the description box below now is the time to do so as we are approaching the ending months of the year and that's the busiest for me I'm already starting to feel the wave of uh, chaotic <laughs> chaotic energy coming about and it always happens at the end of the year for me but uh, this time it's it's starting a little bit uh, sooner and um, I've definitely been extremely busy so again like I said um, I do want you guys to get in the appointments uh, and set the appointments um, now before we get closer to the end of the year again like I said because I will be getting extremely busy and I can't promise you guys availability for uh, those months so again um, like I said if you're interested in private readings definitely contact me now um, versus waiting at the end of the year I know a lot of people like to do like yearly readings and stuff like that um, but it is again extremely hectic and crazy uh, the last three months of the year for me so I'm just giving you guys a heads up anyways let's get into this reading this is going to be for Sagittarius for the month of September 2017 also I have been for this month of September I actually did channeling for you guys for each zodiac sign um, just for this month so I do want to give you guys the messages that were received okay um, so before I actually started recording I had already done this a couple of days ago um, which was channeling sessions with my spirit guide so these are the messages pertaining to Sagittarius for the month of September 2017 um, so the message came on very strongly with uh, you know stop building sand castles if people show you who they are don't question it okay so what that means is if people are showing you their true self uh, they're acting a certain way or they are showing you a side that you've never seen of them don't question that don't don't wonder oh I wonder what they're going through maybe it's um, you know situations that they're going through at the present time whatever uh, to try to excuse their behavior take it for what it is and understand that that's genuinely who they are um, stop giving people the permission to continuously keep lying or keep um, you know keep treating you a certain way that they shouldn't treat you that way um, that of building sandcastles is I feel that for the month of September you guys are probably uh, the the past two weeks for you guys you guys been either uh, in la la land and what that means <laughs> you guys are not grounded um, or you're going off of you know what people are promising you and you're running with that and you're putting bets on it um, and again don't do that try the best you can to remain grounded um, remain uh, you know see things in a practical matter if they tell you they care are they showing you are they genuinely showing you in practicalities of life that that you are important or that they do care for you if the answer is no take that for what it is and stop excusing their behaviors okay um, let's see what else was given to me family and home life is going to be very important for the month of September uh, trying um, trying out things to start or look up for the coming weeks try not to overspend um, okay so when it comes to family life I felt that um, actually I was told that family life was gonna be very important so it could be that you're dealing with family issues uh, either surrounding your family your immediate family or it could be having to deal with your partner's family is becoming an issue it's like a lot of people are conspiring or a lot of people are looking into your relationship even you guys even allowing that to happen so this is very easy um, to explain the best way or the easiest way to explain it is kind of like when you're going through difficulties in your partnership and you go to a cousin or you go to a sister and then your partner goes to a cousin and goes to a sister and they get this perception of what's going on but of course everyone has a side to the story right 
So what creates or what happens is they create this tension to the point where if there is a breakup or if there is like, let's give each other space, let's give each other time, uh, your cousin, your sister, your brother, whatever, whoever you confide in is going to push you to move away from that relationship and push you towards new beginnings. Uh, and the same thing goes for them, for your partner. So what happens is when you guys go back with each other, everyone had all these create all these opinions about the relationship and it becomes an issue to you because of course you don't like them, uh, you know, giving it or you don't like the fact that they're giving advice to your partner like, hey, it's time to move on and your partner's not going to appreciate your family telling you, hey, it's time to move on. So ultimately what this means is the more you communicate with other people what's going on in your relationship, you're allowing them to step into that relationship and to have some type of effect on it. So usually what happens is, again, like I said, everyone having opinions and getting to the point where they just dislike your partner or you dislike or they or your family members dislike the partner. So again, a relationship is just between two people. Try the best to understand that and know that. Don't go telling everybody your problems at the end of the day. Uh, they might mean it in a good way. They might have the best of your interests, but it does become a conflict when there is allowance of other people to get involved in that relationship, okay? So anyways, let's get into this reading, Sagittarius. This is going to be for the month of September. This for the sun, moon, and rising of Sagittarius. Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages for Sagittarius for the month of September 2017? What are the messages? Messages for Sagittarius for the month of September 2017. What are the messages? What are the messages? What are the messages? Messages for Edwin and Rose, Libra, Star, Water, Moon, and also for the Leo, Pisces, and Pluto, Virgo, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what spirit has for you guys. Let's get into your reading. So you have the three of cups here. You have the star card. You have temperance. Oh, wow. You have the ten of swords. The knight of swords. The high priestess. The moon. Wow. The king of cups. The sun card. The seven of wands the King of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Your general energy is the Hermit. So the Hermit as a general energy is imploring you, asking you to go within yourself, to try to find yourself, to try to be grounded. Um, try the best you can to listen to your intuition. Sagittarian people tend to be very extremely intuitive. So if something feels wrong, it usually is wrong. So try to be guided by that and ask your spirit guides for guidance. Um, uh, the hermit also represents spiritual guides uh, stepping in and guiding us um, to where we're supposed to be at, okay? So you're starting off the month with the Three of Cups here. The Three of Cups is a celebratory type of energy. It's an energy of, you know, um, family get-togethers and, you know, a summer is already over or getting over and, you know, the, the hanging out and socializing, it's not going to be as prominent as it was in the past and passing position um, the past months. So the star card here is definitely a major arcana. So there's, there's a possibility or a wish uh, being processed or you're wanting a wish to come from perhaps a connection that you have with someone. But the three of cups can also represent third party energies. So try the best you can if it's you the one in a relationship and you're kind of stepping out of that relationship, having or communicating with other people understand and know that cheating is not just physical it's also considered cheating when you're emotionally becoming attached to someone or when you're sharing personal intimate details that you should only be sharing with your partner so be very watchful of that okay because the star also does represent shedding light or light coming into something that was hidden so be careful with that the temperance card here is a symbol of uh, balance having to need balance and again going back to that of grounding needing grounding there's definitely an ending cycle here for you, Sagittarians. So it could be the ending of a relationship or it could be the ending of a cycle of a certain type of behavior for you guys. 
Now, you do have the Knight of Swords here, and the Knight of Swords is definitely talking about an air sign. So this could be a, uh, an Aquarius. It could be a Libra or a Gemini. And this is a person that is an outsider looking into the relationship. So it could be, again, like I said, if you're dealing with a partner um, or you're in a relationship and you're dealing with someone else or communicating, it could be a representation of them um, looking into the relationship, but also trying to start or steer up shit. So try the best you can to walk a straight line. Um, as you know, I don't encourage you guys to, especially when it comes to monogamous relationships, um, just try the best you can to be honest because you will be caught. Now, you do have the high priestess here. The high priestess next to the moon is definitely talking about intuition, but it also is talking about full moon. Uh, we are in a full moon tonight. So again, a high priestess is telling you go within yourself. You already know the answer towards whatever confusion you've been feeling. Um, so if, if this is whether uh, you feel some type of uncertainty regarding your partner, if this person is talking to someone else or if there's a third party energy, uh, high priestess is kind of telling you you already know the answer to that because you've been guided and you've been led through your intuition or we've been speaking to you through your intuition but at the same time you're not wanting to accept that so it could be that in the past perhaps there's been um, already some type of cheating some type of um, betrayal and the moon it's like you have this illusion about things are going to work out or this person is going to change their their personality and the truth is they're not you know the high priestess is there to tell you you already know the answer um so it's kind of like don't dig if you're not trying to find something because more than likely 95 percent chance you will find out so again uh be very mindful about that uh try the best you can to be guided and listen to your intuition because you will be on point all through september going into october also, I do want to mention the high priestess also speaks about uh, spiritual awakening and next to the moon. Listen and pay very close attention to your dreams. OK, you're going to be very prone to dreaming uh, probably the second week of uh, the second week of, of September all the way to probably the third week of October. So pay very close attention to your dreams. I feel that there's communication or uh, someone from your past or, or a loved one or a relative someone that has recently passed away will be communicating with you through your dreams so pay attention to that okay also you have the king of cups here and the king of cups could be representation of you dealing with a water sign a water sign would be a pisces cancer or scorpio doesn't have to be their moon sign or rising it could just be the attributes of the king of cups the king of cups it's a very loving type of energy it's an energy of a give and take reciprocation it's also a person that is very wise beyond their years so i feel that you're going to this person or you're seeing this person um as what i just said but the moon next to it is telling you <clears throat> this is just an illusion that's not really who they are it's just that you're choosing to see them in that in that way so the best way of saying it is kind of like you're, you don't really know this person yet you've created all these expectations in your head or in your mind about the person um and it's time for you to ground yourself and to come to the reality or, you know, to your senses, basically. So this could be uh, talking about those of you guys that are single. OK, so again, um, don't don't put so much weight into what you think or the anticipation of something uh, without really knowing this person. Don't be quick to say, oh, they're so loving. They're so caring. Uh, they're so honest, because the truth is the high priestess and the moon is definitely talking about hidden agenda or hidden types of attributes that perhaps they're not obviously they're not presenting if you're just dealing with this water sign so pay very close attention to that now you do have the sun card here and this is in the past and passing so again like i said for those of you guys that are in a relationship it's like you guys have been dealing with or battling with a lot of adversity when it comes to relatives and people surrounding the relationship try the best you can to remain grounded you have the king of wands here the king of wands is definitely your energy so you're being you are very stern you are very um naturally very passionate very uh you know you're a go-getter and you make things happen but because of the seven of wands next to it it's like you're becoming very confrontational so try the best you can to keep that in check as well sagittarius and finally, the end of the month, you have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles definitely talks about reciprocation. This is the charity card. So if you've been asking for or wanting to ask for a loan, you're definitely getting that loan for those of you guys that, again, have been struggling or having issues when it comes to your relationship. 
uh, there will be light shed and new beginnings starting for you guys but again if there has been some type of cheating in the past you have to come to terms if you're willing to if you're willing to move on from that and you want to continue working on the relationship the six of pentacles is definitely telling you about it's a give and take do not hang the fact that yeah they cheated on me every time you get mad do not throw that in their face if you're continuously in this relationship so what that means is if you're not willing to walk away then forgive and let go okay that's the only way that's the only way you're going to be able to get through this relationship now, for those of you guys that are in a serious monogamous relationship, again, like I said, um, try the best you can to not be blinded to what you're seeing, okay? Because the high priestess and the moon definitely talks about you have the wisdom or you already came to the wisdom, understanding or seeing or catching someone being a little bit deceiving. And the moon card is like you're refusing to see things for what they really are. You're still hopeful. Try the best you can, again, like I said, to be grounded. Um, it's very, very important for the month of uh, September for you guys, okay? So anyways, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this reading. Uh, share, like, comment my videos. If Again, like I said, if you guys are wanting private readings, do them now uh, because I can't promise you availability at the end of the month. Um, at the end of the month, this month, and going into October, November, and December because that's going to be really crazy for me. Uh, so again, just keep that in mind, you guys, okay? So anyways, we will see from each other at the middle of the month for the love readings. Bye.